Psalm 53 verse 1 to 6, through the Bible. Psalm 53. Theme. The fool, foreshadowing Antichrist, denies the existence of God. This psalm is the same as Psalm 14 as far as the translation is concerned, but there is something very interesting about it. It begins, The fool hath said in his heart, There is no God. Corrupt are they, and have done abominable iniquity. There is none that doeth good. Psalm 53 verse 1 This psalm is to the chief musician upon Mahalath, Maskil, a psalm of David. Mahalath has to do with sickness and sorrow, and it corresponds to the mournful condition of the last days when Antichrist is the ruler. He, of course, will be an atheist. The difference between Psalm 14 and Psalm 53 lies in the way the name of God is used. In Psalm 14 the name Jehovah is used four times and the name Elohim is used three times. Psalm 53 uses the name Elohim seven times. That is significant. Elohim is God's name as creator. Now notice at what point atheism breaks through. It is relative to creation. The Bible, which is God's revelation, is denied and is no longer considered trustworthy, infallible, and inerrant. The first chapters of Genesis are branded as folklore and myth, even by some men who claim to be believers. Evolution is adopted as the explanation for the origin of all things. Many years ago an educator, who was president of one of the largest universities in this country, said, we no longer take anything for granted, not even the existence of God. This is the spirit of Antichrist. He will deny the existence of the Father and the Son. 1 John 2 verse 22 tells us the mark of the Antichrist, who is a liar, but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ? He is Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. If you are going to come to God, you will have to come by faith. But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Hebrews 11 verse 6 A number of years ago the Beatles, a rock music group, said, We are more popular than Christ. Of course that is not true. Such popularity lasts for only a short time. It is interesting how the Lord Jesus Christ has moved back into the spotlight, having been out of it for so long. Atheism is a characteristic of Antichrist. In the last days, the forces of atheism will be headed up by him. Of him Paul wrote, Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, shewing himself that he is God. 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 4 This psalm ends with an expression of longing on the part of the believing remnant. Oh, that the salvation of Israel were come out of Zion! When God bringeth back the captivity of his people, Jacob shall rejoice, and Israel shall be glad. Psalm 53 verse 6 how can anyone say that God is through with the nation of Israel after reading this verse? When God bringeth back the captivity of his people, Jacob shall rejoice, and Israel shall be glad. To deny that God has a future purpose for Israel is to deny the inerrancy and inspiration of Scripture. Yet men who say they are believers attempt to spiritualize this. A great company of amillennialists I studied in an amillennial seminary, and I know that crowd pretty well, have spiritualized the book of Revelation instead of interpreting it literally. In my judgment, to spiritualize scripture is practically to deny its inspiration. Now, my friend, God is not through with the nation of Israel. Listen to this verse again. Oh, that the salvation of Israel were come out of Zion. When God bringeth back the captivity of his people, Jacob shall rejoice, and Israel shall be glad. I think that even a child could understand what is being said here, that Zion means Zion. Jacob means Jacob, 
Israel means Israel, and God means God. This verse means exactly what it says. And God will answer this prayer. He will again deal with Israel as a nation. 